Now, why have I paddled? I feel the earth move under my feet. We're going to get into that. <laughs> We're going to get into that. Some information has crossed my path from another it video. It is as hot as a demon's penis in this city. It is as hot as a demon's penis here, in this here, city. Uh, uh, you're, you're gonna take me to court, Secular? Oh, please do, Secular Lobster. Please take me to court, motherfucker. Please do. Take me to court. I know, for, I know for a fact you're bilking the government out of their fucking welfare money. And I'm gonna fucking report your ass, bitch. I'm gonna report your ass. I mean, you guys sure would have reported me if I'd have done it. So I'm gonna report your ass, Secular Lobster. I'm gonna get you in trouble, motherfucker. And you're just gonna have to fucking like it. So now go, go make another hate video about me, bitch. Because when I call the welfare office and I report your ass, you're gonna lose your fucking benefits. So now fucking go make another hate video about me, bitch. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't think I'll report your ass, motherfucker? Watch me. Watch me and see. Watch and see if I don't. You motherfucker sure wouldn't yeah. hesitate to report my happy ass. So by God, I'm gonna turn the tables on you, bitch. Candy Rain is in the jail cell right now. You think he's playing? <laughs> yeah, if you think he's playing, go Fuck check the video and see where Candy Rain is right now. She's in you fucking can't, jail. You can't man. see the video right now. We get along, but you know. I hear it all the fucking time. I literally hear it all the time. That is the number one biggest argument. And, you know, and I'm going to blow that argument away right now. <laughs> okay. But yes, um, I'm wearing my pickle suit, as you can see, in honor of uh, Kim Jong-un's brother getting good. I mean, notice how the communists still wear the pickle suit? Am I the only one to notice that? Good? We phased the pickle suit out in my era, back in the 80s. But yet you'll notice a lot of these communists, they still wear the pickle suit. Why? In recognizing a communist, physical appearance counts for nothing. If he openly declares himself to be a communist, we take his word for it. If a person consistently reads and advocates the views expressed in a communist publication, he may be a communist. If a person supports organizations which reflect communist teachings, or organizations labeled communist by the Department of Justice, she may be a communist. If a person defends the activities of communist nations while consistently attacking the domestic and foreign policy of the United States, she may be a communist. If a person does all these things over a period of time, he must be a communist. But there are other communists who don't show their real faces, who work more silently. By right. the early 90s. Title of this video, this hangout, is Morons and Idiots. Title of this video, this hangout, is Morons and Idiots. Basically, giving them the permission to do what they want. I remember when I got my orders to go to Germany, <clears throat> when I went to Germany, uh, they briefed us on how to interact with local, local law enforcement. They told us, look, if you have a, a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle in Germany, let's say you get pulled over and they suspect you of drinking and driving, and they ask you to do a polygraph, or not a polygraph, but a breathalyzer test or a sobriety test, and you refuse, then they can beat you up to make you bleed just to extract blood from you and test you that way. They have the legal right move blood by whichever means they seem necessary to see whether or not you're drinking and driving. Uh, see, over here, we're protected a little bit more, but it's the same thing. If you enter in that contractual agreement with the government, they, you're then playing by the rules. Folks, even if you don't believe in the Mandela effect, I think you're going to find this video very interesting. Now, I can tell you, this, I know, <laughs> this, this really, this, this really got me, you know, I got to say, this got me. This, I'm not going to spoil it, okay? I don't want to spoil it. But this this video really got me going as far as Mandela Effect. This, this has got to be, this has got to be the premier Mandela Effect for me, okay? Might not be for anybody else. But for me, this is the number one primo Mandela Effect, bar none, okay? But I don't want to spoil it. But, um, you know, now... I know there's going to be, you know, there's going to be the usual people from this reality, this paradigm, that are going to say, ah, shit's always been there. Von Helm's crazy. You know, but see, to those of us that came from the Arm of Sagittarius, it's like, oh, no, 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 that shit wasn't there before. This is new. 
This is new. This is wild. This is amazing. I mean, it really is amazing for me. All right, for me. You know, I can't speak for anybody else. But this is amazing. And no, it did not exist. I assure you, it did not exist. Not in my timeline. Not from the Arma Sagittarius. Not that I remember. But you know, we're going we're going to get down to the nitty gritty on this thing because this this just it's just amazing. It is literally amazing. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, Brother Abbas from the man was asking about the ruling on urinating, standing up, and this was done by the Prophet ﷺ in the authentic hadith that he came nearby a junkyard and he urinated standing up. So, urinating standing up is completely permissible. There's nothing wrong in it. Providing that you are safe from getting any ricochet, anything coming back to your body or to your clothes from your uh, urinati, uh, urination, yeah, your urine. Alrighty, good people. I have found you a legitimate Mandela effect. Right. Because there is no way in hell that Islam penetrated all the way to middle France. Didn't happen. No way. In fact, they've got a red line there where Islam was stopped. So I don't know why they're showing them going all the way into France like that. That doesn't make that. that it's interesting they got that red line there because that red line is exactly where they stopped at. So I don't know what I don't know why they're insisting that Islam spread up into France like that because it never fucking happened. I have found a legitimate Mandela effect. It, the Islam did not spread that far up into Europe. No, they did not. They were stopped at that red line there. So why are they saying it extended on up in there? I don't know, but I'm finding it more and more and more as I search the internet. 9.30, we're stepping in the service. Music message, we don't want them to fly. Fun, fun, church can be fun. Do you know that it is? I got this, you got this, communion down my right. Hey, I got this, you got this, off and back in. Kicking in the front pew, sitting in the back pew. Gotta make my mind up, which role will we take? It's Sunday, Sunday, celebrating Sunday. We see all of these extremes constantly hitting us. We have an extreme problem. But, it, you know, they're trying to attach it to a lot of things that have political agendas behind them, such as global warming, I believe. That's mostly a political agenda. But the real issue with the weather and everything else on the earth has to do with sin and wickedness. Right? Hey, yes, hear about the Guinness Book of World Records, brother. <laughs> right? So I get up and I, you know, I'm having problems with the word chap. I don't know what chap is. I've never even heard the word before. Chap, yeah, the chap is okay, so right, 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 stop right there. I'll tell you. Right. No, I, I'm gonna tell you, I Google. Oh, you Google it, okay. Right. That is years ago. So I get up and I go to the computer and I'm struggling with the word chap. I go, what's chap? What does that mean? So I Google, we and chap. And I realize the chap has no value. You know, we have almost, I've been awake as well, so have you, for quite some time. And, and the truth of the matter, Juan, is that even for guys like you and I, who are on a scale of one to 10, as far as the awakening goes, we're at 11. Mm. Um, and, and the truth of the matter is, even for us, it's very difficult to just ubiquitously absorb all of this wicked and crazy information that is going on in this world. And then on top of it, you got CERN that's messing with that D-Wave computer and screwing with our reality, which makes things even worse, because you don't know what's real, what's not real. You don't know if something's going to change tomorrow, or the next day, or the next. You know, I mean, I just, I just, I, I was just Googling about the Muslims again. Right. And uh, now, according to history, the Muslims had invaded all the way up into the, into the high part of France, almost almost to uh, to uh, Belgium. I was like, no way, no, that ain't, no, that ain't right. They Standard American Builder says it's time you moved up in the world. You need extra room, but there's nowhere to go. This way. That's why Standard American Builder says move, move up. Let them add a second story to your home at a price so low you'll wonder Jesus why Christ you waited. He said, I am the truth in life, and just the father of the truth. If he is the truth, that means that anything that we are absorbing or being, being awoken to in truth must be coming from Christ. Now, there are, are channels out here that are flatter channels, that are anti Christian channels, but I'm also well aware and studied in that I'm also aware that Satan uses and, and, and he'll bend and twist them in order to manipulate and keep people from ultimate truth because we know that, that flatter earth is actually God being hidden from the world. This is exactly what the number of purposes Are they hiding land on the other side of the ice walls? Quite possible. Um, are, are, can, you, can you control people if they know the truth? Absolutely not. So of course you want to see. But I think the ultimate truth that they are hiding is the existence of God. And, and, and so Satan is going to take this truth and give it and, and disperse it amongst the deceivers that they as well would deny and reject God in order to continue their agenda not knowing that they're actually a part of the deception and by no stretch part of the truth. 
I just went to Kentucky Fried Dinosaur and had me <laughs> 20, 20 piece. Yes! Don't you wish list. there was a Kentucky Fried Dinosaur? Just take it to the side. You're going a few days clean. <laughs> and then they come out, see the house clean, they give you the kids right back. Well, they didn't do it this, that way this time. So, you know, I'm, I'm talking to people. Let's just put it that way. I'm talking to people because, you know, I feel like not only have my rights been violated, I feel like my kids' rights have been violated. You know, they were uprooted out of a school that they were accustomed to where all their friends were. You know, you know, my kids are getting straight A's in school, um, somewhat after daddy's insistence, of course. Um, you know, and I started on them early, too. I said, see that little smiley face on the picture? They said, yeah. I said, I want you to bring home all your papers with smiley faces on. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, That's but, good. Uh, no, it's like, like I said before, I read the Emerald Tablets. In fact, I even did a video on it, uh, several uh, parter, actually. And, uh, you know, I'm reading the Emerald Tablets, and, and Thoth is like, hey, if it's darkness, evil, if it has to do with blood, or with a sacrifice, or with, or with uh, you know, uh, uh, what's that where, you, where people talk about you, uh, uh, gossip? Backbiting, any, anything of that nature. God says, stay, stay away from that. That's not of the God. Stay away from it. Okay. And, it, and that flies in the face of a lot of these pagans online who think, oh, well, we can put the good and the evil together, yin and yang. You know, we can have them both. And that's not what God said, man. Well, first and foremost, in Genesis 3 6, and again, I'm not a fan of coincidences, 3 6 is 3 6. That is the exact moment that Satan deceived Eve. Now let that wrap around your head for a moment. 3 6 in Genesis is the moment Satan deceived Eve. Now, did, did Satan deceive Eve with evil? Did she deceive Eve with darkness? Did she deceive Eve with something that, that looked vicious and mean and hurtful? No, no, he didn't. He deceived her with what looked good. She said the fruit was appealing to the eye. It was pleasing to the eye. It was good for food, so I partake of it. And make no mistake about it, that's exactly what is happening in this world. We are being deceived by that of which looks good. I'll be the first to admit, space looks amazing. Star Trek, Star Wars, Chewbacca, R2-D2, that is some... That is some good looking stuff. That looked pleasing to the eye. That we could travel to outer space and meet other life forms and other planets and they'd be like, hey, human, we've been watching you. You guys are some cool people. Rand, yeah, I've seen your YouTube channel and watched some of those flat out elected videos. You're a cool dude. Why don't you and your flat out elected crew come hang out with us on Hoopa Tapa Planet? And we're going to introduce you to the video from Hoopa Tapa Cha. And we're going to do some special videos from here. Let's do a hangout from Hoopa Tapa Cha. You want to do a video from up here? We can relay it to Mars or Mars to the moon. And then from satellite from ISS, we can satellite it right down to Earth. And you can do an entire hangout from up here. That sounds to me real, real cool. It sounds pleasing to the eye. That, 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 I think you have to have the satellites before you do that. Thing, okay, man, man, man. And it's all a deception. It's all pleasing to the eye. Oh, you know, I have to jump on my ass and lower myself to his level. Well, if you hurl insults at the very beginning of your video, guess what? You lost the argument. Insults at the very beginning of your his level. Well, if you hurl insults at the very beginning of your video, guess what? You lost the argument. Salts at the very beginning of your video. Yes, my, the, the thing that, it, that has bugged me, I mean, you don't even know if I'm Christian, the thing that bugged me was these Jesus only types. And it's like, how? How, how can these people exist? Do they, do they have whole pages of their Bible ripped out or something? Or what? How, how can that be? Because the Bible clearly talks about the Father, the Bible clearly talks about the Holy Spirit, you know, the Bible talks about angels and demons, and you know, even and God even talks about other gods. He says, don't serve other gods. But yet these Jesus only people, man, they, they totally dismiss all that. And Jesus is the only thing that exists. He's the only way. He's, he's, he's done it all. It's, it's everything is Jesus. And I have never, I mean, what kind of Bible do these people read out of? They can't be reading out of the same Bible I'm reading out of. They can't. I, I agree. I think that they're in a, a mental position of not wanting to acknowledge negatives and evils in the world, which is unfortunate because this is exactly the need for Christ, is the evil and the negatives and the uh, fall and the tainted creation that we're in. This is the need for Jesus Christ. And if they can't recognize that, then how do they even see the need for Christ? So yeah, I, I don't understand it either, Vaughn. I don't get it. And the scripture is absolutely clear that there is an enemy entity named Satan. Uh, so I don't know how in the world there are Christians out there that don't believe in this entity. And I've, I've heard full preterists say that Satan was the old um, priest system <laughs> and not an entity at all. And I'm like, are you, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, Folks, what? I have seen a lot of Mandela Effect videos. I have seen a lot of wild shit with these men, in, including people disappearing, reappearing, dying, coming back to life coming back to life multiple times, two and three times. All Mandela effects. I've seen people lose family members. I've seen people gain family members. I've seen, you know, of course, the obvious, the Bearstain Bears and, and uh, Luke, I am your father and, you know, the typical stuff, you know. But I've seen, I've seen some pretty wild shit, too, you know. And, and of course, CERN is saying, yeah, we're going to crank it up even higher. I'm like, oh, great, you know. The last time, folks, the last time they cranked it up, we started seeing sea monsters, you know, but they weren't really sea monsters. What they were was dinosaurs that were running around in our oceans. Say what happened? Well, I was a bear number two, <laughs> and you fell out of the pole, mm -hmm. and uh, I reached back there. Uh, and there's a wife in 
and I kept a feeling something. And I grabbed it and I pulled and I pulled. And well, I, no, please. And my hammer on it. I guess Panama City has a clinic for that. Well, I had that done at UAB. At UAB? Yeah. Does UAB known for that? I don't know about that. It's hotter than hell down here, though. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Um, I don't know if uh, Zach will let me stay in here or not, but I came in here because Brother John's in the side don't, chat. Don't uh, presenting a link that, like, we haven't seen this link a million times and uh, how it's been debunked a million times. Stop, Presented this uh, link, I'll put it in the side chat because I know you guys have seen stop, it don't, over and over. And I have two of these. They don't realize that all of this has been debunked. Um, so this is uh, a link that tries to say that the heavenly bodies are what debunks the flat earth, but actually it's the opposite for one and for another. The heavenly bodies can't determine the size of the earth, the shape of the earth. So it's funny that they always go to astronomy to prove the earth's curvature and the earth is a ball. Um, yeah, that's, that's not gonna work. It's funny too that he, in this in this uh, so-called rebuttal, uh, rebuttal link that he posted, it talks about, I cannot believe that people who believe in the spherical model are still using this, uh, the whole shit's over the curve thing. I mean, we have proved that with zooming cameras, that is not the case. It cannot be behind the curve. If you can bring it back into focus with zooming cameras or uh, binoculars or telescopes, you just, that, this proves that right there. So I don't know why in the world they would still use that. That's like one of the most lamest. Uh, okay, so people people call me brother, brother, uh, this is going to be an open hangout. Um, just basically talks about the left route of things. Some of the things that we can talk about. He said, come with me to heaven. This world is going very quickly. A lot of information is... My children, my brother, uh, you saw me to be. So um, I'm over here. Those have not been witness of Jesus, the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, so this is after the of Christ, or during, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So these are the ones that were beheaded, so they obviously returned with Christ and reigned with him on the earth for a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not until, uh, not again. Uh, this, this is the first resurrection. Well, exactly, yes, but, but that's my point. The okay, it's, it's unsafe to say. This is the first resurrection. Ergo, there was no rising the of the dead. Mountains of my people was a mountain no, no, no. It's saying that these ones that were beheaded were the first ones resurrected and they returned to Christ to bring the We have the dome over us. Stop looking. The firmament is spoken about very strongly in scripture. This hatred, it's sacred. It's not about me. And. Don't stop. Don't go. We are well protected. That's. That's so a truthful, fact, so you can go ahead and put all that space stuff me. away. But you know, once you get them unwanted, over those little I'm indoctrinations, I'm shocking, no some heroes, indoctrinations that are one just... Person, one country, they're nothing like they're me. strong. Like you gotta give, you gotta give credit where it's credit to the people that have been deceiving us. The destruction of a people, resurrection of wow. a Wow. And, 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 wow. and, and, and you're right, it is, it is a violation child. of your space. Absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. Body and is that's why the founding fathers were adamant that we have a right if to be secure in our person. We have a right to privacy. We have a right to be in our own. We have certain and alien rights. Did y'all see that? Yeah, they're saying that. Uh, aliens, new. Start listening. Uh, the United How many are me? Very strong possibility that there's them. aliens. I know uh, them. That new. That new. Um, okay. Newest, this is the newest possibility. Unselfish. Unselfish. New evidence, life science. So if you're not in your own, then your rights are being violated. Absolutely. Absolutely. With this instrument of evil. Yeah, this is why. I, I mean, a lot of it we volunteer, especially with the traffic side of it. Right. Uh, because we volunteer into a contract with the state. <laughs> when you sign up for a driver's license, we're basically giving them the permission to do what they want. I remember when I got my orders to go to Germany. <clears throat> when I went to Germany, uh, they agreed to us on how to interact with local law enforcement. They told us, look, if you have a driver's license to operate a motor vehicle in Germany, let's say you get pulled over and they suspect you of drinking and driving. And they ask you to do a polygraph, or not a polygraph, but a breathalyzer test, or a sobriety test. And you refuse, and they can beat you up to make you bleed just so you got blood from you and test you that way. They have the legal right to move blood by whichever means they see necessary to see whether. That's hilarious. I was watching the exact same video the other day. And that's the one thing. 
Yeah, but it's much easier said than done. Like coming from a military background myself. If one of your superiors gives you an order, even though it might be unlawful, if you disobey, that goes your chance potentially of ever making right here, of ever going anywhere because they feel like they're above the law. I mean, this supervisor, whatever it was, that gave him the order. I'm sure he was well aware that it was unlawful. That's hilarious. I was watching the exact same video the other night. And I think that if you have an instrument, you've got to read scripture and understand and how God is unveiling truth and how that truth is in perfect timing to the removing of grace and mercy, you would be 100% in spirit and in Christ. And as God said, he is seeking those that are in spirit and in truth. Jesus Christ and I am the truth and the light. Well, you have a dead spirit, so you can't be in life with a dead spirit. And you can't, Jesus Christ, he is the truth. So you can't be in Christ if you're not in truth. Amen. And this is where we are. And I think it's a very unique time to be in. It's a very special time to be in. And I think that the clock has been sped up because we can see things starting to unveil at a rapid, rapid pace. And it is crazy when you think of it all and you try to put it all in perspective. Even as a Christian who is, has been afforded the awakening, who has been afforded the truth outside of the world we live in which we don't even see, even as an awakened Christian, which I think is the elect, and slap me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is the elect, who are truly awake to what's going on and who profess Christ as their Lord and Savior. Those are the elect. Uh, um, and I agree, I agree with you, Ann, but, you know, that's one of the things that I was talking about. And people don't understand that God's mercy is even upon the wicked right now. Because if he removed his mercy and his grace from this earth, it would be gone in a second. And those demons are clinging to the walls of the funnels that lead to hell. They're funnels that go into hell. And the demons are on the walls looking out, waiting for the gates to open, waiting for servant to break open those gates so that those demons can come into this dimension. And God's mercy is holding that back. I'm going to tell you something, bro. If that happened, when that happened, those that think that they've outsmarted God here in this world have another thing coming. You better be good and thankful for his grace and his mercy because, Vaughn, you and I both know if, if God released the absolute truth all in one shot, mm -hmm. there's no way this world can handle it. He has, handle only it yeah. truth. he has only given the truth to those that can handle it, yeah. and he's only given us enough that we can handle it. Exactly. It says in scripture that, you know, he has to speed up time, because if not, it would be possible that maybe even the elect wouldn't survive. Now think about that in the context of waking up every day, knowing what it is that you know. Boy, have I got a bombshell for you guys. <laughs> have I got a bombshell for you guys. You guys ain't gonna believe this shit. Us birthers were right all along. You heard me. Us birthers about were right about Obama all along. Stay tuned. You're gonna like this. When last we met, I missed you terribly. I won't miss this time. All right, ladies and germs. I want you to listen careful. Let me move my, move my thing. There we go. I want you to listen careful. Because I have got the bombshell of the century. Tim Adams former chief elections clerk in Honolulu says Obama not born in Hawaii and no long form exists. Let me say that again. Tim Adams, former chief elections clerk in Honolulu says Obama was not born in Hawaii and no long form exists. That's why when I called Hawaii they said they couldn't give me no long form and that it would never be released. Well, obviously you can't release it if you ain't got one. So that makes sense. Remember folks, I called Hawaii myself and asked them. So, my, my muscle trembling never blows shit up. <clears throat> now, some of you may have caught it, some of you may have not caught it. But in the news, there was this chick called Cowgirl. Did any of you catch it? Did any of you catch Cowgirl? Some, some news media uh, uh, reported it, some news media didn't. The news media that kisses Muslim ass didn't report it. Just saying. We interrupt your regular scheduled program to show you an, a, a message of absolute and utter stupidity. The ABA, the American Bar Association, the people that make lawyers, says 
I mean, you see it there. What, is it, what does it say? Let illegal immigrants practice law. Stop and think about that for a second. What is this saying? It's saying let lawbreakers practice law. When you cross our border to come into this country, you are breaking the law. And the American Bar Association is saying, let people who break the law practice law. Do you have any idea how utterly stupid that, that is? Do you have any idea? I mean, I don't know what to say. I do not know what to... I have entered Bizarro World. This is this, this is bizarre world. When we're going, when, when the American Bar Association, not us, the American Bar Association, the people that give lawyers, I took real estate law in school for those of you that are wondering, full confession. Um, when, when the American Bar Association that, that gives us attorneys our, our, our credentials, is going to get up on public television and say, let people who break the law practice the law. Right. And they use that fear tactic to keep us subconsciously, like unconsciously dependent on the government. Um, like we need them for something. Like here's a new strain of a virus that can wipe out population. We need more funds to combat this. Otherwise, we'll all be wiped out. We're, we're on the path with a Andromeda galaxy and our Earth. Climate change is going to destroy the planet. Blah, blah, blah. It's always a reason to us under their dependency. As long as they have the... Talk privately. Um, I I own a, a promotional. Yeah, we can do some prayer, and we can see what. Oh yeah, that's right. What, uh, right, we can see what God has for you. Of the flat earth. I used to do uh, video blogs uh, where I would outline all the Flat Earth uh, videos. And uh, once Jaronism put one of my articles on his blog. Blame game, like how can you even get to someone to talk? To them who actually has the truth. It's like you're dealing with middlemen up until you walk into a museum <laughs> at NASA, and then it's even more mind boggling. Like, wow, I can never go to space. So. Those are kind of those little tiny ingredients that are that are gonna make uh, and I believe very soon been waiting to present and I thoroughly believe uh, that you're right Maria in that uh, it's an agenda and it's been a long going agenda and like i said earlier in the saying out they have been extremely patient they have they have sat back and just waited that could not happen on a bomber you could not see a tree on the other side of the ball. So I think, and, and the fact that it's in Daniel 411, 411, if you dial 411 in your phone right now, it's going to be information. And, and this is the truth. This is the truth. This we. We are the branches. In John 15, it says, that Jesus Christ the vine, that Jesus said that he is the truth, damaging, 
it can be damaging if you get on the wrong ones. Um, I encourage you. I encourage you to sub to this channel. And we also have a group, uh, a community called uh, Flat Elected Community on Google Plus. It's a community called Flat Out Elected. I encourage you to join oh, that. Okay, I'm on, I'm on Google Plus. I'm sure I'll find you. Okay. Nice. Yeah, Flat Earth is very interesting. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued by who comes to the yeah, we just right. It's like, you know, I, I, I equate it to one. It's like when the Chinese come to America, and then at the airport, they're getting paid to leave home to their families. They want to buy some souvenirs. Okay. American, so they grab, you know, that little uh, American flags and the ceramic gifts in the gift shop. And when they turn them over, it says made in China. <laughs> yeah, that's the okay. I'm hoping Trump gets that. He, he, he said he's going to. So. I don't know where a lot is happening very quickly. A lot is happening very quickly. It's almost, I've been awake as well, so have you, for quite some time. And... And the truth of the matter, Vaughn, is that even for guys like you and I, who are on a scale of 1 to 10, as far as the awakening, we're at 11. Mm. Um, and, and the truth of the matter is, even for us, it's very difficult mm. to just continuously absorb all of this wicked and crazy information that is going on in the world. And then on top of it, you got CERN that's messing with that d wave computer and screwing with our reality, which makes things even worse, because you don't know what's real, what's not real. You don't know if something's going to change tomorrow or the next day or the next. You know, I mean, I just, I just, I was just Googling about the Muslims again. Right. And uh, now, according to history, the Muslims have invaded all the way up into the, into the high part of France, almost, almost to, uh, to uh, uh, Belgium. Like, no way, that was, that was, no, that ain't right. They were stopped in Spain. They, and, they, and, and the reason I remember they were stopped in Spain is because they built them a, one of them uh, mega mosques there in Spain to, to celebrate the fact that you know, they had penetrated into, into Europe. But no, they were stopped in Spain. They didn't travel all the way up into France. But see, now, if you go and Google it, they all the way up into France. Well, that's the well, end. What about this other one I heard recently that apparently scientists are now professing <clears throat> that the dinosaurs were nuked. Mm -hmm. Not hit by a, a, a meteorite. Uh, yeah, they were nuked. Nuked? As in literally, well, as in literally nuked. With yes. a bomb. Apparently. <laughs> I don't know where they're getting that from, but uh, no. Well, like, like we, we have now concluded, or at least, you know, a handful of those in the 11th stage of the awakening, um, this world is crazy. Yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, nobody, CERN has absolutely no oversight that I'm aware of. There's no government body that's allowed to interfere with them. Because, I mean, you know, why didn't Switzerland go in there and say, hey, listen, man, you're messing with our reality, shut this down. Switzerland ain't done it, France ain't done it, nobody's gonna do it, nobody has the authority. Bro, nobody has the authority to, to huh? They did a satanic ritual on the premises. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. That's right. That's right. They did a satanic ritual. Well, they did a human sacrifice on the premises. Also. That's right. And and CERN also, when they opened, did the dance of Shiva. That's right. And they've got a big statue of Shiva, life size statue of Shiva in their front yard. Right. And, why? Why did, why did they have that? And just down the road at the tunnel, they did the uh, ceremony of Baphomet. Right, right. The Baphomet ceremony. Right. right. So, so I, 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 even if you're the world's biggest idiot, <laughs> which, which there are a lot of them out there, <laughs> I can go through a list of trolls. There's a lot of them out there. We could just, we could just call this hangout, spending the day, spending the day talking about the idiot trolls we have. <laughs> Um, and this could be an eight-hour plus video. Yeah, yeah. But, but the truth of the matter is, is that um, even if you're the world's biggest idiot, moronic, enslaved, mentally, idiocentric reject, even if you are the worst of the worst, and you are that four-eyed guy with the tape between your glasses, so butt pimple face, with 150 gold stars on your mother's fridge, uh, and hiding in your room playing chess with yourself, uh, even if you're that guy, you have to, at the very least, look at what's going on at CERN with the dance of Shiva, the statue of Shiva, go into some research about who Shiva is, even if you think it's mythical, and then you go down the road to the, to the tunnel in Switzerland where they do the dance uh, of Baphomet, or the Baphomet, right? And then you look at the actual caught on video um, ritual. At the very least, like I said, you could be the dumbest of the dumbest. You could, you could make Dumb and Dumber the movie all over again with the camera just pointing at your face. That's it. You could be that guy, and you still have to say something ain't right. Well, you know, here, here's, here's the thing, though. Here's the problem. The problem is, is that a lot of our trolls and haters is atheists, all right? So I, I don't care. I don't care if, if, if Krishna came down in person, tapped him on the shoulder and said, hey, here I am. You know, it wouldn't do no good. If Jesus did the same thing, it wouldn't do no good. All right. Yeah, nothing phases these guys. Okay. They are, they are in their own little bubble and nothing that could happen. I mean, I mean, the, the gods could rain fire down from heaven and nothing would phase these cats. Okay. Oh, well, it was just a freak meteor shower. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. You know, I mean, there's no way, there's no way to absolutely convince these guys of the supernatural, let alone of, of the gods and, and whatever. Bro, if, if I've done this, I've done this many times. So hang on a second. Hold that thought. I got to see what my, my daughter's talking about. She's a nice lady. <laughs> yeah, she's a nice lady. Yeah. I'm glad she's a fighter. That's all. Yeah, no doubt, man. No doubt. <clears throat>
<clears throat> yeah, man. Nah, since she has some time at home, maybe you can uh, hook her up with a with a marketing gig or something. Hi, man. I'm Milo, and today I'm joined by Roman Millennial. Rowan Millennial and I take very different political stances, but we're here to talk about eight different ways that you can respectfully disagree with someone. Personally, I find one of the major reasons why these tiny little disagreements can all of a sudden explode into these huge heated debates, especially on social media, is when we start to make assumptions about people who disagree with us based on the stereotypes we have of them. You voted for Trump? You must hate Mexicans! You're a feminist? You must hate men! The most extreme and outrageous people are usually the ones who get the most attention, so it can be easy to believe that they represent their entire movements. And I know that I'm certainly guilty of making these generalizations way too often. But on the other hand, I'm sure we all also know how frustrating it is to have our views mischaracterized or misrepresented by people who don't really know us. So instead of assuming that someone's entire set of political and social beliefs okay, will fit I into see the food outside. we've crafted about the people across the aisle, Look at if that. we want to know what someone thinks about something, we should just ask them. You have to do research your own opinions and reevaluate them, even if you okay, are not currently involved in the discussion. Go eat outside. This is just a good thing to go, do, quickly. and I know I so appreciate it if I get into a discussion with someone and they have already done a lot of research about what I'm talking Mama about. Mama says that, that makes alligators like are ornery because they got all them teeth but no information, toothbrush. And you're not putting in much effort. If I can tell you did your research before you engaged me in this discussion, I will feel much more motivated to talk this out with you. As hard as it might be, we should also not assume that someone's a bad person just because they have different views than us. When our own social and political views are so deeply entrenched in values that we think are important, like Shut equality or up. liberty, for example, it can be tempting to believe that anyone who You're disagrees with us must therefore be a bad guns. person who probably hates everything Shut we hold dear. Up. But someone can still support the same values as you, but You're see different solutions as necessary for securing them. Or maybe they think that the same solutions should just be implemented in different ways, Shut or maybe that up. other issues are more pressing now, and so those deserve our attention Stop instead. There are tons of reasons guns. out there why someone might disagree with Shut us that have nothing up. to do with them being bad people. So we shouldn't be so quick to Nobody jump on the idea of being morally superior to the people on the other side. That implies that things no can question. be as simple as, we're right, you're wrong, we're the good guys, you're the bad guys. Which is a very narrow view ho, ho. to have of our society and mm -hmm. culture and political ho, 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 sphere ho, ho, ho. and people This has actually got a little he bit of age on it. I'm kind of late to the party on this one. It helps to not but that's okay. Them. That is okay. Because this here conversations with someone who does is just going to but it's says just, Facebook vows it's to tackle concerns over blasphemous content. My opinions and my perspective All right. in life. It's this okay is from Yahoo News. Just don't do it on purpose. Please, um, thank you. And this is written by a Muslim, okay? So you fucking Muslim apologists can suck my big speak. red dick when we're every goddamn or one of you. About anything really sometimes things um, just don't come out Saeed Raza no Hassan try to be, sometimes I don't think you get any more fucking Muslim than that do you someone you disagree with especially in a debate or argument okay. about political so what are we or saying here issues. I know a lot what is of this all about on the lookout for any off the what this is about ladies and gentlemen like is that Mark Zuckerberg that and the people that work at Facebook literally have blood on their hands or that it was taken out of context they literally have gotten people killed for simply expressing their I'm freedom sure of speech. The courtesy. There's no point in winning debates or arguments if Literally. it's based on a technicality. Fuckers are animals. Really they drink camel piss for fuck's sake. All right, who in the fuck would do that? I mean, my God, that's Even horrible. If that yeah. makes other party I, I get sick one, thinking about it. You're not, you're not losing Anyways, by taking care of yourself. The point is, is, no is that Facebook has gotten people killed. We really use that we're doing nothing age, wrong race, except gender, expressing their identity opinion. as an Fuckers are animals. I'm sure they drink camel there. piss for fuck's sake. All right, who in the fuck concise. would do that? I mean, my God, that's horrible. Taking into account all opposing views. Oh yeah, that nuance. But then that blood ain't going nowhere. You can you can sit there and wash your hands a thousand times. It ain't going to wash off. It ain't going nowhere. Which it ain't going nowhere. And I hope it haunts you for the rest of your life. I hope. 
the spirits of those people come to you in the dark of night. You know why I come here to get this chicken? just dismiss no, everything they're saying based on that one characteristic. Can be very strong. But someone's identity, their age, hey, race, on, political come on, come on, persuasion, come on, gender, so whatever, is not about come on. an argument good, against their good, opinions. They're not a reason to say, nah, I'm not going to listen to you. We need to remember that opinions stand on their own merits and making these sort of personal attacks against someone in an effort to just dismiss what they're saying is really not conducive to a healthy dialogue and actually it's probably just going to cause resentment which is the opposite of what we should want. So please don't use someone's personal details as a reason to just brush aside what they have to say. Everyone deserves to be heard. Don't publicly shame people. Getting on your platform in what front of whatever audience you, you have that? and trying to shame you someone out of their opinion is really hard. Well, I have thought it's about not a considerate thing to do, before, and it's not like you're winning you any arguments. You you're just making them feel bad. You say I'm not the punisher. Fuck you. Arguments. I've been. I'm a punisher. So I was a punisher video. before Punisher was, was ever famous. Before anybody even knew who the fuck the Punisher was, I was the Punisher. I've been beat up, I've been stabbed, I've been shot at, I've been fucking hung on a hook and left to die. Dumbasses, what the fuck are you doing? Have you been out in the street? Fuck no. Hiding behind your goddamn computer. You don't even have the fucking guts to cam the fuck up and face me face to face. Dumbasses, you don't fucking know me. Busting up fucking drug lords and shit. Arizona, Florida, Maine, North Carolina, North Dakota. I've been all over this fucking country. My parents don't even know half the shit I've done. You know, I told my parents, I said, I'm looking for a good, I'm looking for a good woman, which was the truth. But in the process of looking for a good woman, I also did my part, too. Because those bitches took my children's lives, and they need to fucking pay. You're right. Frank Castle is a work of fiction. I'm not. And you need to get that through your fucking head, dumbass.